in this problem, we are using some data that's been collected about a sample of people to create an expectation uh, about what will be true for a larger number of people. Let me read the problem and then show you how we approach a problem like this. It says, Kareem is in charge of planning a reception for 2,400 people. That's a lot. He's trying to decide which snacks to buy. He has asked a random sample of people who are coming to the reception what their favorite snack is. So some smaller number of this 2,400, he's asked them, what do you want? Uh, what do you like to eat? Uh, I added these up, and the total number of people he asked was 220. We are, we'll need to know that uh, because we want to make a, a proportion here, and we need to know the total. Uh, in this case, we've got 29 who like cake, 44 who like pretzels, 87 who like cookies, and 60 who like something else. Um, and then it says, based on this sample, predict the number of people at the reception whose favorite snack will be pretzels. To do this, we are going to create a proportion. So I'm going to start by making a ratio of the people in our sample who, who like pretzels out of the total in our sample. So that would be 44 out of 220 people who were asked they liked pretzels. We'll set that equal to a similar ratio where we have the number of people who like pretzels over the total of the actual reception. So we'll put 2,400 here on the bottom. And we don't know the number yet who are likely to like pretzels. So we'll put x up here. Now we have a proportion. And we can solve it by cross multiplying. So we're going to get 44 times 2,400 equals 220 times x. I'm going to get out my calculator for this one. So 44 times 220, sorry, 44 times 2400. So that's 1000, sorry, 105,600 equals and 220 times x. And then we just divide by 220 to solve for x. So let me punch that in the calculator. Uh -huh. And I get x equals 480 people. So that is a good way to get an idea. You take a sample of people, you take that data, you apply it to the larger amount, and you can predict how many pretzels to buy.